Let's do a flyby zoom of this, uh, what you call it, spongy thing. Only sponge. The only thing around. <laughs> yeah, look at that Argus view. <laughs> oh, <we're in> the <laughs> it's <go>? hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I am the timekeeper. I am the keeper of shadows. <laughs> so, so, you see, oh, look at <laughs> so you see the way the Lophophytus attachment spreads out in the species. It forms almost a mat that extends out rather than straight down. Oh, can you get yeah. down? Can you get down on the base? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. See that? So it's a little bit different. That's kind of a characteristic of this group. It looks like it's lifted up off of the sediment and it has the, the those attachment points sticking down. Yeah. Interesting. They also have what's called a oh no, I hit a divided <laughs> atrial surface, that concave surface, and that's it's a character. Uh -oh. It's just, well. we don't know how strong a character it is, but. That's how the original genus was described, based on that divided concave surface. So they need some work, but at least we know what the genus is on those guys, so it's not a high priority. Yeah. This is definitely a fall, a rock fall area. Look at that little line of boulders that obviously fell from above. Okay, now we're going to... Go up some slope, it looks Go like. Go up. Up the wall. All right, I'm going to turn off fast mode now and set it to regular. I was flying another ROV earlier this year that literally had a boost button on the control <laughs> box. It's like slow, medium, fast, and boost. <laughs> There's so. enough, another two zero meters, three, four, zero. The theory on that is that the, the theory. The I, uh, no, that's um. What was that? The it was either the Phantom or the Seymour. I can't remember. Um, they each have one of those. One of them's boost, and one of them's like turbo. <laughs> but the theory is that like it can overcurrent the cable if you do that all the time. You can use it to get yourself out of a pinch, gotcha. but you don't want to just keep doing it. I think that's really funny. <laughs> oh, what is? What's that? Over? It's just a rock with rock. I thought it was an urchin for some reason. I don't think we've seen one of these recently. Rocks? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in on this rock, please. You can ignore all the biology on it. Okay, this is a black coral. <coughs> and um, I wonder if we can get a little more zoom on it. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Okay, come on. Okay, I, I think I've got this one, uh, maybe. Parent, parent apathies, like that? Uh, yeah, possibly. Right I come in the wrong family, and you're in the right family, Andy. Just lucky. More like that, kind of more uniform. Well, what I was looking at, and I'm trying to remember a diagnostic on paranopathies, and my memory is a uh, is fading. But as I recall, there's two branches that come off Zoom at in, one please. point on paranopathies, and I saw, I thought oh, I saw. That's an interesting of sponge. And yeah, this is the Feria oca erecta, so it's the erect form or the tall form of that species Feria oca with one of these glycometra. Bridge, two zero meters, three four zero. Uh, crinoids on it. There's a bathopathies. Looks like a little trisopathies or something on it. A little isolated anemone hanging out on that rock. Is it paranopathies that had those paired? Yes, so. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Yep.
Hur är det? Mm. Rom. Call. Rom. Uh, what is that call? Yeah, like a mountain, like a call. So much sediment, so it's going to be interesting to see what it's like when we get up to the top with all this sediment down. Yeah. What do you expect? Sediment? Yeah. <laughs> sediment. <Really? laughs> I think so. Well, I'm waiting with bated breath for more sediment. Yeah. We're not that far away. No. 300 yeah. some meters. So, and they'll, they'll make it on the next watch, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Where okay. do I see the distance to the target? Uh, that's from boat to uh, center of the boat from that little point on the boat. Cool. Three eighteen. Oh, yeah. Three hundred meters. Yeah, easy. It certainly, look like there's some rocks to Bridge collect here. So when Beth comes on, meters, I think she's going to be able to get the rocks that she needs with any luck. If I reset, yeah. I love the reset to USPL. So nice. See what that is. Just snap zoom on it. Yeah, I'll line it up. Okay, go ahead and zoom, please. Oh, it's a couple things. So uh. that Using. There's a. It almost looks like an alternata path. He's behind it. I think it is. With the coralia well, at front. The, look at the, the bottom oh, yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, could we look at this? Uh, this is a cor uh, Corala morpharian. It's the first one we've seen. It's an anemone oh. thing. It's not an anemone. It's its own group. It's a what? It's called a Corala morpharian, and one of the distinctive features is it has those little white nematocyst balls right on the tips of the tentacles. Yeah. Cool. Very, very cool. cool. There are very few of them that we have to species. I mean, we have something called Corallomorphus rigidus, which it might be. Oh, I cool. don't know these very well really at all because we don't encounter them that often. Well, that's pretty cool. We, I like seeing something we haven't seen the whole cruise <laughs> before. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Can I see? So what would be the common name for this? Corella morpharian. Really? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bridge, can I have another two zero meters, three four zero? That's pretty Corella common. Morpharians. Oh yeah, those are cool. All right, you got me on a hunt here. I'm gonna see if I can <laughs> Google common name for Corella morpharian. Look, and there's a there's a Hawaii Andrasi Research Laboratory picture in here. There is. Pilatus. Yep. There's a cuke. Too big to sample. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not seeing it. Sorry. Oh, is it in the lasers? Oh, there's the cuke. No, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't just talking to oh. Aphrodite. Uh, it's, I don't see a common name for that thing. There's a cuke, a little, little big to slurp. Too big to slurp. Funny little sponge we just passed, but we want to make the summit if we can. We don't want to leave that all for the next watch. Yeah, I really want to see this, this sediment city up here. <laughs> They're going to get up to the top, and it's all sediment, and then that's their dive. Yeah. It's kind of nasty, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, they left us blue water for like three days in a row. I'm sorry. I don't feel very... Uh, <laughs> that was, I hate to tell you, I think that was kind of me and Aaron figuring oh. out the schedule. <laughs> okay. Blue water at four in the morning is a... Uh, we get that this tomorrow morning, right? It's a challenge. Uh, no, we're going to... Uh, 
pull up probably by midnight, and then uh, we'll deploy again at eight. We're gonna okay. We're gonna go to a little further away spot. We'll switch some USBLs around then. So this wasn't seriously. Um, yeah, we. This is not a geo geo. This yeah. is a this is a seamount, right? Yes. So it's interesting that <laughs> it has this much sediment. I mean, Sorry. what would be the the driver for that? This is an isolated little seamount, right? I mean, it's not near. Just really curious as to where, why there's so much sediment on this. Because we're on, not that far from the top, 335 meters. The top's not that big, right? It's relatively pokey looking thing. Yeah, they don't they don't have a lot of time, so it might work out pretty well for Beth to have time to get her rocks up there, hopefully, and maybe even. I wonder if we. There's a white sponge right yeah, there. Yeah, I wonder if we could zoom that sponge, but. Down on the left there? Yeah, right yeah, sure. there. <laughs> sure. Okay, go ahead and zoom, please. Can you determine whether it's got a stock just by rotating slightly around it? I can do that. Thank you. I'd say it has a stock. I would say it does too, and that makes it a dictyocalyx. So thank you very much for able to identify. And I'm not sure we've seen these on the cruise before either. Cool. Very cool. So this is a soft sponge? No, it's a hard sponge. A hard sponge. Well, it's kind of a combo. The The stock mm -hmm. is really hard, but the sponge itself isn't that hard. It's They're hard to uh, focus on. They're very yeah. blurry looking. It looked blurry, <laughs> didn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that was, yeah. It's a soft looking sponge on camera. So what's been your favorite part of the dive, Chris? Um, getting stumped on a lot of stuff. How's that? Let's see. Give me one second. I got to find this guy. He's. I don't see him very often, so fish. I don't know where in the gallery it is. Oh. Fish, fish. Yay. Oh yeah. You can zoom at your leisure. Okay, Ophidid. For sure, a cuskiel. Can you kind of see what? It, I don't suppose it's possible to see his lateral line on his side at all. Is it? There's your lasers. Yeah, that's great. It's got a big schnoz. Relative, well, not that big, sort of big. I don't see the lateral line at all on him. So, come out a sec, Aaron. Yep. Great. Thank you very much. So I think that's the same thing we saw earlier. Which there is we go. Possibly spectrunculus. Now you can yeah do whatever you'd like. Why does it have those marks on top? Like if it was it battle injured. Scars? Yeah, they could be battle scars or. Yeah, um, Ken's still there. I'm not sure he is still there. Oh, do I get to look through the eyeball? That's my favorite. Oh, oh no. Oh, so <laughs> close. <laughs> it's going to go look for an eyeball. through the eyeball? Yeah. Like if you come, go behind a fish. Oh, there is another sponge. Ooh. Let's look at this sponge or maybe even a coral. Um, or I think oh, right, were you talking about the one behind? It's pretty white. The coral is this militaris that we've seen oh, yeah, every okay. dive. And then maybe we could take a look at the sponge. Yeah, we can look at the sponge. Uh, huh. Zerman on this story. blurry blob. <laughs> blurry blob. Very Yay. Oh, BB. No. What even oh. am I looking at? That is a blur ball. All right, now I got sediment coming, so let's come wide, please. Yep. Okay, uh, thank you. it's going to be in the Corbitellini, oh. I think. Some other Just another one of these... Uh, that's members of this new genus, supposedly. It's blurry and fuzzy. Yeah. I don't time. like that one on my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, if you look behind a fish, their eyes like stick out convex like. You get that lined up just right. You can see in one side and out the other side. Back it's to the really side. Cool. It's uh. very weird. It's also amazing. Ah, jeez. Took forever to find that thing. Okay, so that's what I think is that sponge we just saw, the Dictio mm -hmm. Calyx and for Kainalu. That was that one. Getting to the steep section now. Woohoo. It's some more of those trumpets. Still completely chips. opposite of what it looks like it's going to be. <laughs> sure. Perfect. Can we let this one settle out, actually? Yeah, yeah. yeah just, just a little, little bit. Well, yeah. and we're getting close. Yeah, exactly. Chris, I hope you have a. Do you guys have a plan for post summit? Because they're going to hit it pretty quick, I think. No. <laughs> go, down, go down the other <laughs> side. Go down the other side. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. There was, there was interest in getting to the summit, and we got to the summit. and so. <laughs> interest is but rapidly. But the thing is, Beth has got to collect her two rocks. She What's might want to get another set sample. She's got a lot of work to do here, so okay. she might just want to stay right on top. Roger. Thanks. Sorry. Look at this. This, this is nice looking. This was not part of the original dive plan. <laughs> oh, there's rocks. Let's go to there. That's way more fun. All right. Uh, that was a good quick look, uh, and I'm going to keep moving. Yeah, beautiful bamboo. Now that we're really steep and coming up fast. Oh, maybe the summit isn't going to be that sediment covered. Maybe we're going to have some rocks up here. Is that just, what is that? A sponge or is that a coral? It's okay. I'm just full up. It's okay. fine. Should we put one more in before? Uh, yeah, what the that. heck? What could go wrong? Bridge <laughs> 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 can have a uh, two zero meters, three four zero. It's rolling out on the other sonar. It's this looks like one of the patterns for one of those ultimate. Oh, look at this. There are some rocks up Chris here. Oh, nice pretty. little coral nugget. Yeah. 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 Wow. Cool. What are we doing? Three, four, zero. Yeah. That's not at all where I'm at. 1800, 1800 meters. We're really close. Uh huh. I mean, if it's all shifted, maybe the summit's farther anyway. Yeah, that's true. Guess we'll never know. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'll be in bed before we know. <laughs> I'll be in bed about three minutes after I walk out of here. Yeah. <laughs> 15 minutes left in watch, 16 minutes left in <laughs> I thought I was going to eat, but I don't think I need to. I was thinking some popcorn would be good. Is there still pie? There yeah, was a there lot was. of pie. Yeah. I'm having pie. Oh, I think I'm joining <laughs> Trevor for some pie. I'm going to have some pie. And oh, the can of whipped cream. Oh, <gasps> yeah. Fresh can of whipped cream. I opened it this afternoon. It's on that nice. One. Where's that filament of stuff, Chris, that's inside the coral itself? That's, that's I like, didn't see it. I'm it's afraid. Like on that big um, bamboo mm. that we just passed, there was uh, some other... You've seen it a couple times, yeah. Yeah, it's very... Little critters in there. <coughs> very, oh, uh, could we zoom on this yellow bamboo yeah. to the right? This may be yet another one we haven't seen. This and could be overgrown. Fish. fish. You circled Aaron, the fish. Like fish. I really like fish. <laughs> Where's oh, yeah, it's right oh, behind there. There's two. There's also a tiny fish. Two, two tiny above fish. center. Tiny fish oh. is gone. Uh, just a quick uh, snap. It's button. still there. Okay, zoom in on the uh, this guy. Uh, not so the big polyps, but the little coral. polyps. Oh. Ooh, this is pretty. Uh, I can, I have more zoom. Do you want it? Yeah, if you could, please. What is I think this is completely overgrown by zoanthids. It's a bamboo. Oh, really? Are there two different types of zoanthids? Yes, there are two different wow. types. Wow. Okay. And what is what is that one right there? Yeah, Same one's thing. So pretty. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, come wide, please. Let's see if we can see yeah. this fish. Yeah. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> so I did. Uh, 
it's it gone. No, it's right there. It's there's gone the forever. Little, there's the now little one. No, it's right there. It's under the rock. And there's another fish. There are two. Oh, oh, oh it's oh my god. fish war. No, no, there's three fish. There's a little yeah, one right here. Oh, my God. Zoom in there. Okay. It's very fishy. Let's keep them both in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No, look at that. Let's oh, go. That's oh, that's the one on the left, please. The yeah, on that left. guy. Yeah, that's, what the other, is that? Oh, what that is a juvenile uh, Chanakops. That's the oh, juvenile with the big head. You can so zoom in more if you want it. Is, it, is that an angler, angler is fish? That one yeah. eat that one? Oh, that one's going to eat him? Okay. No, no it's, don't it's do it. Don't do it. Do it, do it please. That's our fish. <laughs> <laughs> that would be incredible. Are you kidding me? Nature. God, it's such an ugly baby. Whoa. It's so cute. It looks like it's got so little cute. legs. <laughs> that is. Is it, is it oh. an angler fish? Yes. Wow. It's juvenile. Oh. Juvenile. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> In a so, very ugly way. There he is right there. And he's red when he's an adult, Chanakops coloratus, and he's black when he's a juvie. It looks mm. like he doesn't know what to do with his giant head. I don't. I can't know what to believe do that other one either. didn't fit. Oh, didn't he's know. too low. I'm in the ground. No. They're all in balance. All right. oh. Stalk crinoid. Come wide, please. That was a good fish moment. <laughs> that was a really good fish moment. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. Oh, he's going back for more. Look, he's. he's oh, uh oh. That, oh. Uh oh, predation, oh event. No. predation event, come on. Uh oh, there, he's not going to eat him. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. Look at, he's like hiding. He's like, don't see me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop sipping on our fun back there. <laughs> Pessimist. He's Jeez. totally going to eat him. <laughs> Kill my hopes and dreams. <laughs> Do you see that? Three fish in one shot. That was really cool. That yeah. other big one, uh, slimy one, um, slender one, was like the cutthroat fish, I think. We didn't really get to look at it, but I have no idea. It moved really fast. Fish. Oh, is that another fish? There's another, another fish. one. Yeah. Going for it. We're doing it. Is that our small rat tail? Kumbaya, my son. Kumbaya. Uh -huh. We can sing it. It's Kumba. 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 Oh. Okay, come wide, please. I'm getting okay. a little close to some corals. I don't know why I like to Get break in the song whenever I see that no, fish. I'm <laughs> <not>. <laughs> cool rocks it's here. A nice area. We're kind of letting the um, Argus settle out and stuff, so we're just. If you're happy, we can explore this for the next Ooh, wow. five sure. minutes. Yeah, that would yeah, be this fine. Is really neat. Heck yeah. That's beautiful. This summit's a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. Well, we're not quite there yet. Can we look at the moundy thing real quick? Snap to Ooh, moundy. And then look at beautiful stuff. What's the moundy what thing? What is that thing at the very top, that like leaf looking? Oh, that's Bath a black coral. Bathopathies. Yes, it just looks... Looks like it's stacked you just together. Go right around this rock and throw a wrap and everything. Is that a little yellow fish at the top there, drifting in the column? What is that? A uh, yellow fish. Yeah, oh, right? right above the rock that oh. looks like uh, it's hovering. What is no, that? No, I think it's got a. Stem. I don't see what you're looking at. It's behind this bamboo it's, coral. It's got a stem. Oh, it does have a yeah. stem. Okay. I can we look it. at it? We can. If you can see where it is, I don't see it right no, now. No, no, it's she. She's right. It has a oh, yeah, that yeah, right I there. Now, yeah. okay. I just didn't see the stem. At the angle, too. you couldn't really see that it had one. But you wanted to look at that sponge still, Chris. Yeah, no, no, I got a good look at it two sideways from the screen, so I could see it. Come so down cool. in Delta a little bit, please. Roger. Bamboo whip. Some of these more tall chrysogorges that are really weird that we sampled earlier. Mm. So I think it's the same thing. I don't know what that one is. You've seen oh, you a lot of them. On Argus? Yep, I can do that. Well, that slot's just the right size for her to fit. Oh, great shot. Yeah. Loving it. So Coralia, there's a Rodana Ritagorgia yeah. that's between the two Coraleids, which is the sky. Oh. Huh. That guy right there. there. Rodana Ritagorgia. And Sentinella. Has the yeah, same the, spiral the, this structure. This guy's a little bit farther, so it's a little more too, forgiving. Yeah, got a little woolly one. Heavy. Did you want to look at that thing? Um, yes, please, if you could. The woolly one right there. Yeah. Yeah. The screen. What's that other one? Looks like little fronds sticking up. Taken. Little baby sponges stuck into the rocks. Those are mm. the yeah. Yeah. polyopagon, but babies. 
This is yeah. another beautiful coral. <laughs> okay, coral. zoom in, please. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't think that's Rodana Ritagorgia. Does that tell you what you want to see? Uh, yeah, it's breezy. My, my brain is not registering. <laughs> Wait. Okay, that's what it is. Oh no, it's it's well no, it's not spiraled, so it's got to be red, uh, Rodana Ritagorgia. Okay, right. yeah, thank you. Thank you. Come wide. Yep, you can zoom in again on Argus if you want. <coughs> Okay, we'll do. Well, nice Argus view. I guess that's what it was. You can zoom out on Argus. Yep, we'll do. Nice. Full wide on Argus, nice little bump. The ground here. five meters off the deck, love it. Um, yep. <laughs> I know. As long as it's not zero meters off the deck, you're fair game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, Trevor, do you think we're at the top here? I, it looks like it goes down further out, which would mean the map is shifting. I think it's slightly. a local max. What's that? I think it's a local max. I think we'll get more. Our oh, next really? shift will get more, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm also looking in some random direction, so... There's yeah, we haven't, haven't gotten to the summit yet. We're still... Well, according to the map, but then it was very curious why we got so much sediment there. Right? Yeah. We're supposedly on a steep slope. Those are just stunning bamboos. I think that's, yeah, that's bamboo. There's one, two, three, maybe even four different species there. Mm. Oh, could we look at the yellow coral that just yeah. went right under the guy right there? Yes, I, I can. I wonder if this is one of Asako's uh, Acanthagorgia, but I'm not, not positive. Okay, zoom in, please. Could they all be just overgrown, too. To anthids. No. What? No. Yeah. I think this is... Um, let's hold here for a moment. Asako, I think this is either a Canthagorgia or a Plexorid. Probably a Canthagorgia. Okay, can come wide again. I might get She's better lined can, up here. Can you weigh in on this, please? Come full wide, sorry. get a sorry. chance yep. to look at it? Are you ready? Negative. She says, yay. <laughs> <laughs> ready now? <laughs> yes, ready now. Awesome. All right. We're heading for a shift change. Yeah. Well, it's it's, it's either Plexord or Acanthagorgia. I, I Hi. That is, I'm leaning more toward it's Plexord. It's pretty busy. Um. Uh, okay. Okay. What do you think, Chris? Uh, wow. And Asako says, I suppose it's an Acanthagorgia. Acanthagorgia, <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh oh, coral fight. Coral, coral fight. fight. Uh oh, <laughs> fight. <laughs> I think it's a star. Are we, are we looking at the same thing? Oh. Asako, we've got another, and everybody else, we've got another right, watch wide, coming please. in right now. We're in the process of changing out yeah. our seats. Good. So thank you all very oh. much, and stay tuned because the summit is obviously gorgeous, and we're going to spend some more time. The next watch is it's going to stand. Uh, now, Asako changed her mind. She says it's a plexorid. Um, anyway, stay tuned and uh, enjoy the rest of the summit for at least probably another couple hours. Thank you very much.
Check, check, check. Check, check. You're on. Loud and clear. Yep, here you are, Lindsay. There I am. I've been monologuing to myself for a, few, <laughs> a little longer than I'd like to admit. <laughs> um, well, before we get started on this uh, last phase of this dive here, we're going to ground ourselves with this new watch. We're going to take a moment to go radio silent. We'll be conducting a private ceremonial protocol that acknowledges and honors the biocultural resources that are present and that we'll be interacting with and impacting. So we'll be back on SPL shortly. And Dan, I invite you to go ahead and mute your microphones. Mahalo. Mahalo. Thanks for joining us from around the world. We have quite a following here this evening. If you've been watching with the four to eight shift, you may already have a little bit of context, but if you're just dropping in, we are here on an unnamed seamount, and we've been exploring since about 12 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. We'll be on the seafloor for another hour or so, and then we'll be wrapping up this dive. We've been seeing a number of different species here. We got to hear and watch from down below. You've been, if you've been following along, you it looks like you've also been participating in some of these IDs. Before we get started, I'm just going to take out a few wraps while we get ourselves all set up here. Great. Cool. And Rennie, or a front row, mm -hmm. what time do we need to be off bottom? Oh yeah, let's take a look at that. We are at 1800. What did we make last time? Mm. Did we go by 15 last time? Yeah. Yeah, 15 last Two time. Two hours about, right? Yeah. Oops. We're at 17, yeah. Mm -hmm. Two hours, yeah. Yeah, around about the two hour mark and we can... Okay. Try to dial that in as we approach, but yeah. I think they, from what I understand, they hustled uh, to get towards the summit. Oh yeah, they did. And then, and here we are, almost at it. Yep. <laughs> two hours left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in that hustle, there was like all kinds of cool stuff going by. Like, wait, wait, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we could lateral around one of these contours if you want, or unless you want to go straight to the summit first, or uh, hold on whatever you like. There we go. That's what I want. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, that's really close. Oh yeah, I'll give you a measurement there. From Argus to the summit is about one one hundred fifty meters. Yep. Yeah. 
Um, Steve, what does our sample situation look like in terms of what's in the front bio box? Anything? Uh, we have nothing in the forward bio box, and uh, we have four Niskins open, and we have two starboard bins open. And one of the Niskins. One of the Niskins was fired over the sediment. Where was the other one captured? Uh, it was a eDNA collection in the high density community. Uh, yeah, it was a high density coral community. Okay. Why is the internet not working? So Beth, are we gonna are we deciding to go to the summit then or um what you thinking? Sorry, I'm having some issues getting connected to the uh scientists ashore portal. Give me Roger. Um Yeah, so let's go to the top mm -hmm. in that northwestern direction. Mm -hmm. Um we might I just kinda it's not gonna take very long. We'll get up there and then at some point I'm gonna wanna figure out where I want to get some rock samples. Okay. Um, so I just like to see what the top looks like before I do that. And then maybe we'll come back down somewhere. All right. Sounds good. I'll head that way. Uh, Jake, I think you're facing not the way we're going up. Yep. We're going 330. Start that with 50 meter move. I'll Should call that in now. Yeah, go ahead. So Steve, what what are some of the new species that have been seen on this dive? Do you know? Uh, we've been seeing a lot of the same J-clade bamboo corals that we saw yesterday. Uh, there was one coming up to the upper right here um, in the distance. But uh, we were just discussing in the chat about um, a new observation for the crews, possibly in the family Plexoridae. Uh, actually, there's a sea pen down there right in the middle, right at 6 o'clock. Red stick. Oh, yeah. Of you want to see that? Right here. I don't think that one's been seen yet. Okay. Um, so, speaking of new things, uh, this is a neat little one um, that uh, we've seen and, and sampled, not there, in please. the monument, but in other parts of the Pacific. This is in the family Protoptilidae. Um, it's a neat little uh, sea pen. And uh, funny enough, this one actually has a at least in the instances that I've tried to sample it in other parts of the Pacific, has the ability to jet down into the oh, sediment, wow. so like escape. Yeah. So we've tried to sample it with push cores before. We've tried to sample it with you know, grabbing it. Um, but yeah, it's it's, uh, it's a neat little C pen. Uh, but I'm not sure it's been properly identified, but we have plenty of material from other parts of the Pacific. But Okay, so we don't need to try to... No, no, it. yeah. I just... Noting it because I don't think any other watches have seen this. Um, I thought okay. we saw Got some captures. Yeah, that was just out of screen last night. Yeah, uh, yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't properly zoomed in or anything. Yeah. yeah, it just goes to show you that if you you know these sea mounts are real mosaics. We got good captures on that. Oh, why there, Jeff? Please. Uh, that you know the the soft sediment habitats do have biodiversity in them um, and you know it, sometimes it's as small as a patch of you know sediment uh, where you have sea pens like this it's pretty neat um, yeah so other corals uh, bamboo corals seem to dominate this dive much like the last one but not in the densities that we saw um, we've seen a fair number of black corals on this dive which has been pretty noteworthy um, we've moved up into a slightly shallower depth than we've been in most of this expedition so far so we're starting to get some influence from shallower species. Like I mentioned, the plexorids, they tend to appear moving shallower at around 17, 1800 meters. And pretty much right when we got to that boundary, within a couple 20 meters or so, we started seeing them. So 
That was a neat observation. Um, but I suspect as we move up, um, even if, uh, I don't know, how much more do we have to go to the in depth to the summit? So maybe uh, 50 meters? 40 or 50 meters, yeah. 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 So I suspect uh, we might not see too much of a different transition as we move up to the summit, but right. you never know. But we did see um, Rodin Aridogorgia, which was pretty noteworthy. Oh, there's a Metallogorgia there, too. That oh, just coming out of the left there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these are like uh, Chrysogorgids. Another mushroom coral, yep. maybe? Mushroom coral. That's the only one I can identify. Sponges have <laughs> been, uh, you know, just, just from my listening in to what Chris was saying, sponges uh, have been a little bit different, too. We've seen a few observations um, of sponges we haven't seen before, glass sponges. And right when we joined the watch, Steve, there was this bright yellow coral that folks are wondering about if we were able to positively ID that. Which which one was it? It was a bright yellow coral right when uh, we yeah. joined the watch. Yeah, so that was the plexorid. Uh, I, we, there's some discussion about it in the science chat, but it uh, could be a plexorid or acanthogorgid. Um, it's somewhat tough to tell uh, from imagery, but my gut feelings has the plexorid, but I'm starting to see a few more. So potentially it was, uh, um, yeah, a new observation that we'll see a lot more of as we move towards the summit here. And according to folks who have been watching, you've also seen a juvenile anglerfish, swimming sea cucumber, beautiful shots of a rat tailfish, and a big-headed cuskiel. Thanks for filling us in. Very cool. In interesting branching pattern on this uh, one coming up. Yeah, yeah, we've been seeing a number. So we suspect this is a, a bamboo coral uh, in the Caratoicidae Carato, uh, family in the clay D1. Uh, I mentioned yesterday we were talking about how we organize bamboo corals because their taxonomy is quite a bit of a mess. So we call them uh, or lump them into clades based on morphological characteristics that they share. This one belongs to the clay D1. Uh, and there's actually a, should be a paper coming out um, imminently, actually, that discusses uh, some of the defining characteristics and breaks down this uh, family a bit more. Very cool. Steve, do you know if any other watches have found the white crab? <laughs> I don't know. I think they've given up. And I'm starting to give up hope, too, a little bit. Oh, I'm going to keep my eye out, though. I've seen a lot of squat lobsters today, the Munidopsis squat lobsters, but not the one that we suspect is a, a potential lithoted. The white crab. Yeah, so you're hearing the voice of uh, Steve Auskovich, our our data logger on this watch. You can read his bio on our on the main NautilusLive.org webpage. And yes, he's very knowledgeable about bamboo coral. Not as much as I'd like, though. What is this that we're looking at right in here by the lasers? Yeah, we can the zoom one, in a little bit more. We, it's super yeah, fine. Can we get a partial zoom on that? Yeah, this this one here. Yes. Yeah, I'll we'll sit down so we get a good view. Yeah, this looks like a Chrysogorgia. Mm, yeah, coral. just kind of a funky. Yep, type of golden coral. They often, I All think, right, I see a ahead. crab there. So they often have these associated. Oh no, no crab. They often have these associated um, organisms with them. Sometimes crab or shrimp. This one, uh, th this is not a typical growth morphology. I think this one is uh, appears damaged or yeah, might have had some. That's what I was thinking. Maybe it's been predated or damaged in some way. I, I, yeah, I would agree with you. Hmm. Thanks, Jess. Yeah, full wide, please. Yeah, I'm. I'm not a specialist in bamboo corals. I'm more of a generalist. Um, kind of treat all corals equally. Um, 
<laughs> a lot of my research tries to characterize habitats, so I kind of have to be a generalist. But uh, I, I do have my um, favorite groups now and then. What what cl what classifies them as your favorite group? There. So uh, I, I'm partial to the plexorids only because no one else uh, really <laughs> has a lot of confidence to work on them. They're there are, well, there are others that work on them, um, but plexorids are a bit of a taxonomic mess and uh, has a tendency to scare away a lot of uh, folks uh, just because of the variations on uh, morphology and you know, difficulties in amplifying plexorid and comparing plexorid DNA. But uh, we have in the chat Asako Matsumoto, who's in Japan, that is uh, also works in part on plexorids uh, and acanthogorgids and if there's something else you work on at Asako that you'd like to uh, tell us about, can convey that. How about shallow water corals? Where do you where do you stand there? Is that totally different as far as your I ability to ID? Uh, my ability to ID things kind of breaks down once we enter the mesophotic. Yeah, I, I, I don't have a lot of confidence in things that are mesophotic and shallower. Sako agrees that Plexoridae is a mess. But a big mess a day. Somebody's got somebody's got to take the challenge on, right? <laughs> That's very true. Very valiant. <laughs> Sounds I don't, like I don't a know blue about water that. warrior. Maybe foolhardy is the word. <laughs> 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 but yeah, a lot of the places where I've done research, Plexorids tend to dominate. Um, plexorids and Primnoids. So I would say those are t my top two families in terms of uh, just Favoritism. Sea <laughs> stars. Yeah, there's a. You're so, you'll start to see these yellow fans. They're starting to become more common. I th actually do think we might have some acanthogorgids here as well. Um, if we have time, it would be great to just opportunistically. Get shoot a zoom. a zoom in on yeah, some yeah. of these yellow fans just to I'm confirm. I'm still struggling to get the portal open, so yeah. tell me what you want to focus on. And I'll uh, any of the yellow fans that yeah. are in the, Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, in the center these. ground here. If you want me to get closer, we can also but let's look at you at least a general idea. Is that better? Do you want a closer zoom? Uh, if possible, yeah. Just a quick in and out. This one could potentially be an acanthogorgid. It's a little bit different. The axis is darker. Mm -hmm. um, polyps are a bit taller than the previous. So I, I, I think we probably do have both here. But as you can see, they're both yellow fans, which makes this um, this particular type of coral uh, very frustrating to work on. Because mm -hmm. uh, if you're doing a video analysis where you don't have specimens, I think we got some good captures on that we can pull out. Oh, if you're doing a video analysis, this type of uh, coral drives you nuts. Um, and even if you do have samples, they still drive you nuts because you could sample four different yellow coral colonies and end up with you know, uh, four potentially different species of plexorids. Hmm. Okay. It's not just me. I also can't get on the portal on this p computer. Yeah, are you having chat issues? Yeah, like I can't even yeah. get to the sign-in page. I it, it took a little bit longer for me as well. Um, probably just a little slow today. Yep. Yeah, this says it doesn't even, can't find it. There it is. Warning. One thing you could try is restarting the web browser, um, shutting it down and restarting yeah, it. Yeah, I even may. tried rebooting my computer. It didn't work. I, I had a try. hard time accessing it from my computer as well down in the lab, but it seems that um, the workstation up here is working fine. If anyone, uh, scientists ashore, are having trouble with the chat, let us know. 
see if it's more widespread or if it's something local to the ship here. All right, we are closing in on the presumed summit. Rennie, is it correct that the ship move is just supposed to get us to that top? Um, I've just been calling him in uh, okay. 50 meters at a time, but yeah, still okay. uh, continuously moving up. Several different corals in this frame of view. Yeah, yeah so, so we've got um, these large semi bottle brush shaped Chrysogorgia right on the lasers now. Yeah, to the left of that. Here. We've got a Romulogorgia militaris colony. Uh, and What's the background. That little one to the right, you see that? It's almost purple like. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Is, it, is that our Victor Gorgia? Good eye, yeah. Over oh, this one right here? Is that what you're pointing no, at? No, uh, um, three o'clock to the lasers. Top, yeah. Oh, Followed over. Right There's a here. purple. Yeah. Looks like a couple of polyps. Good eye. Nice eye. Yeah. Yep. Bathypathies, and we've got these acanthogorgids, um, hemicorellium, as well. These pink, precious corals in the background. Mhm. Mm it's like one of each thing. Yeah. There's only one purple and, one. And um, believe it or not, <laughs> I think we might be adding. Oh, actually, wow. There's a bunch of Oh, wow, this is really cool. Um, so just to the left of this, too, we have some uh, single um, single polyp, yeah, the red stalks. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's take a look at the purple one first. Yeah, sure. And then we'll zoom so over there. So much to choose from here. All right, go ahead there, Jeff. Because we're adding some new observations for the cruise, which is really pretty uh, fantastic. So this is a different family we haven't seen uh, yet on this expedition. This one is called... Uh, the Victor Gorgia day, and yes. probably in the genus Victor Gorgia. <laughs> Bingo. Yeah. Sorry, guys. And uh, there's another myself. black coral, a very fine whip on top yeah. of that rock. But these um, these Victor Gorgias can get quite large uh, and fleshy. This one is very, very small, so I suspect we're probably at the edge of its depth range. Um, and these red ones. Yeah, those red ones are really exciting to me. Um, because th those are ones I haven't seen in this ocean before personally, mm. um, but I know there exists. So these are solitary um, octocorals, probably in the genus Bathy Elcyon. Oh, full wide, please. Yep. Fell off my perch. We're on the move, so did you want to spend more time here, Steve, or just get another zoom? Um, yeah, yeah, let's spend a little bit more time here. If you have there. time, yeah. Yeah, to, we have right, time. To I'll just see. zoom on the, the red Bathy Elcyon that was be a really cool observation because I don't know if they've been seen in the monument. I have to double check. Chris might know better than me. All right. Watch that while they're on sonar. Yep. Uh, they, uh, just to let you know, I think it looks like the position or the bearing was called in wrong. So. All right, Raj. Uh, it okay. actually might serve to help us in this instant. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, so at first these might look like mushroom so corals, right? Yeah. But they're actually just single polyps and they stay that way. Um, yeah, so th these are probably in the genus Bathy Alcyon, uh, which I don't think, I think it's still valid. Uh, I have to go double check that. But yeah, I've seen these in the Atlantic before, um, but they're much shallower. So it's a pretty interesting, noteworthy observation. I'm just going to peek over your shoulder since I can't get this up. Yeah. Very neat. Got some good captures. All right. Yeah, great. Great. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. And you don't want a specimen collection, correct? Do we? Because I, <laughs> I also need to get rocks. So. Well, is, are there rocks here that might can have that coral? Can we get a Go partial zoom on that again? As I wasn't paying attention. Um, so these look pretty attached, but maybe we could be lucky. Roger. Um, this, you know, maybe yeah. this piece will break off. 
Maybe if on the other so side. It looks like there's one over here, too. We may have to yeah. stand by science on that. We're just... Uh, okay. Yeah. We're yeah. Can we put a, a put a bit. marker here? And then can if do, we need yes, it, absolutely. we can come back. Because it looks like there's also some things on the other side that oh, we can't there, see from our advantage jump. point. Yeah, we're moving off pretty quick. Yeah. yeah that, that, it wasn't a bad move. It's the jet pump is uh, stalled. Oh, okay. Roger. Jet pump. Thanks, Ernie. Yeah. All right. So we're going to be going around one deeper. Zero. So that's, that's good. Fine. Not shallower. So when I was talking about my favorite octocorals and families before, uh, this most recent cruise we had on the RV Falcor this summer out to the Phoenix Islands, we sampled a bunch of these kind of less charismatic octocorals and we found a ton of different types of stoloniferans and these tr true soft corals and it, it's quickly becoming one of the most fascinating groups to work on um sure in, in part because they are so understudied yeah why don't you get out ahead or like stay ahead of uh argus so we don't Get into drag mode. Uh, speed is currently 0 0.4 knots. Roger. Wow. Oh, wow. Booking it. Yeah. Yeah. The jet pump's frozen. It looks like it's not back online. Roger. Maybe whatever is controlling it is also controlling the science portal. <laughs> <laughs> That you is. mean the gremlins? <laughs> okay, well then we'll just <laughs> observe what goes by. Yeah. Yeah, That's point four will be a bit fast. Those are some interesting wires to cross. <laughs> yeah. The, the chat and the jet pump. Beth, folks are curious if this particular seamount, if there's any evidence that it was ever exposed, if it ever erupted above the surface. Yeah, great question. Uh, Rennie, if it's not too much trouble, could we bring up Flater Mouse? Um, or do you want to pay attention to what you're doing? I want to pay attention to this at the moment. Yeah, okay. But I can absolutely bring that up after we're a no little worries. bit more settled. Yep. Uh, so imagine in your mind's eye <laughs> uh, a small volcano uh, that is still somewhat conical shaped. It doesn't have a geo flat top. Um, so it was not ever exposed above the sea surface. Um, uh, Jeff, if you could put high pack on channel three. Actually, I, I just pulled it up on oh, MB Proc, so but I won't be able to play with it. Okay. If you could talk based off of that image. Yeah, okay. that's great. Thank you, yes. Jeff. So the very large feature uh, with orange at the top of the screen in channel three is the Don Quixote seamount that we were diving on previously. Uh, we are uh, now on the seamount to the southwest Roger. of Don Quixote. Um, that's in the lower left corner.